Hey internet, it's Color Florida and Wake the Hero 64 back for more Yo. Fire Emblem 7. We are doing the first side quest today, and this is also the first level in the game where we will find Fog of War. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, for those of you who are not familiar with that, it basically limits your visibility and prevents you from hitting enemies that are super far away. So that'll be fun. The enemies, of course, it does not affect at all, which is a bit unfair. Yeah, for sure. On his way to Laos. But I think, you know what, we've done pretty well in these last few. I think we're kind of ready for an extra challenge. Yeah, this is a tough level. Uh, if This might be the first level we have a character die on. I, I doubt it. I have Marcus, and I'm using You do Marcus. have Marcus. And we have Hector, and he's good. Although Hector kind of dies a lot, too. That's true. But we, oh, we also have Oswin. Oswin is a tank. He can take anything. Hector's asking about Lynn's beauty. Oh, because Hector hasn't met her yet. Yep. Hector's... I can see Hector being kind of the ladies' man. <laughs> Hector's a very eligible bachelor right now. I mean, they both are, let's be honest. I guess that's true. Do -do. <laughs> Look at these hands. Actually, whoa, that guy on the left is actually not bad for a bandit. That's a pretty good-looking bandit. Like, normally they're as ugly as Sin, but, like, you <laughs> oh, know. Yeah. I mean, he kind of has, like, the stink eye. But, like, <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's uh, sneering right now, but, you know, I can see he's he He's can... just constantly sneering. Meanwhile, that guy on the right is in serious need of orthodontia. <laughs> yep. Well, he has buck teeth, but, uh, I mean, you know. He can't help it if his front teeth are unusually large. Okay, also, Berlettis has, like, the most impractical mustache. That's, like, like, a little bit more... I didn't, I didn't know, like, it's Italians like a, were in this game. Like, <laughs> That's, like, a, the starting of a Salvador Dali mustache. That's true. Like, if maybe by the time uh, Fire Emblem 6, because that comes chronologically after Yeah, he this. actually has, like, a... I Does, think he has a beard in that. Oh, is he in it? Yeah, he's oh, in okay. it. okay. See, I haven't played that one. He's, like, never he's basically, like, like Roy's main, like, guardian. I know it did Marcus. get a, a fan translation, okay, but so, I've never played it. So this alternate also introduces green units. Green units are neither enemies nor your allies. Basically, you have to protect oh, them from enemies. who goes first on this one? Uh, so, first of all, I went first, then you went first, I went first on the guy level. So, actually, you go it's, first It's on been this a one. day. Uh, it's been several days, if you can't tell. Yeah. Um, okay. okay, so you so, I just okay. So from what I remember, there's enemies over so here. So there are brigands down in the bottom right. And there down, are or no up here. So up the, the boss is like I think either on that <laughs> fort or right next. Now to isn't that it fort. once you move past a certain invisible line they start coming after you? No, they they just start coming after okay, you. Okay, because the there's time. good stuff in there here. There is gold in that village. We'll which get more money? Which you? Well, I mean, I mean, I want to get it too, obviously. But right, like but you, I I am in need of money since I splurged and bought Elwood some new equipment. Oh, who has the torches? Um, Matthew needs to get those torches, whoever has them. I think Dorcas does, yeah. Uh, see, uh, torches basically let you see farther in the fog, and if Matthew uses a torch, like, you can see a, a huge distance Because away. thieves already have um, really, good really good visibility. So, yeah, you're going to see the <laughs> visibility is going to go away. But we're going to want that on this course. Yeah. yeah. See, now so we, see, can we see got all, brigands. We're we going to see almost everything. Also, those forts up there, nomads spawn there a lot. Nomads okay. are basically archers on yep. horses. They're annoying. Uh, Alright, oh, so I have. If nice. I were you, I'd have Guy. Does he have an iron sword? Uh, he okay, does. he goes. I would have Guy go to the right and to take out those brigands over there. Over here? Over there, yeah. Put him on, like, the forest. He'll dodge everything. Mm. He's also got a good amount of HP considering. Are you going to have any guys on. back me up down here? And maybe I'll have Hector come over here, too, just in case? I mean, yeah, it, does, it never hurts. I print tech, I like having most of your units go up since that's I do where too, all the but Guy spawn. doesn't have. I guess he does have Vulnerys, but. And since he's in a forest and he has high speed anyways, he'll probably dodge pretty much everything. You're right. I just. I want to play more carefully than Okay, I, I know. Really I know whenever I play this level, I always have Guy go that way, and it always works out well. Nice, Dorcas. Proud of you. See, he's a powerhouse at the beginning of the game, but he just doesn't really get a any better. Actually, the oh, thing is, but no, I wanted her to take him out. Maybe uh, I had Marcus. I'll move Elwood, and you can have her finish him off. Uh, you know, maybe I would definitely rescue Merlinus with Marcus. Yeah. Definitely, Marcus is not going to take a huge speed penalty for that. Oh, she attacks twice now. Well, at least against certain archers. Enemies. Well, sure, but that's I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. She just needs, like, one or two increases in speed. If worse comes to worse, I can have, like, uh, well, when go to help guy. All right. Just please kind of box Rebecca in. That's really all I care about. Okay. So, and oh, maybe you might want somebody in front of, uh, 
side. Dorcas is hey! You don't have to, though. He'll be fine. Dorcas can take a beating, that's true. And Sarah's on backup for anyone who needs Sure, it. but you gotta be careful, because aren't there there are enemy archers, too, who can shoot her, so you gotta be careful with her, That's too. true, that's true. I'm gonna have Oswin go this way and yeah. see if I can take out the boss by using my javelin on that. Mm, okay. Just be careful, because the boss is actually pretty good, and he does move around. Uh, actually, you know what story? I'm not sure if the boss does move around. Ooh, that's bad. Why don't you, you could just, you could just put him in front of Bart if you don't want Bart to take a damn, or Bart Ray, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, Elwood. Elwood's not getting a lot of HP, I've noticed. He kind of doesn't. He always kind of has low HP, or for, for most of the game, he has pretty low HP. Um, well, and what can you do against this? Uh, I wouldn't give him the Lance just because of that. Here, uh, I'll kind of use that. All right. I mean, you don't have to do that, but that's nice. Yeah, I'll do that. And that way he's still close enough by that well, he can I'd probably back move up. Sarah either right... Yeah, mm. maybe on the bridge? Bridge or... or yeah, forest. she needs to be close enough to heal people, so I'm, I'm going to put her next to Matthew. Good call. They can get some support, support boost. So, for those of you in YouTube land, uh, this is uh, a day later than the other ones. <laughs> uh, it's like two days later. Several days later, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but, so, you know... Our memory isn't exactly the best. <laughs> Right, but... Whoa! He dodged that. That was rare. Oh, man, Elwood's getting some good uh, some good luck. Well, there. it is his story, so... <laughs> oh, they're free. It's my story. That's why I was a little hesitant to just leave Guy down there. Like, if I give him the killing edge, mm -hmm. he's probably fine, but... Okay, do you want me to have backup down there for him? Uh, I'll leave that up to you. I think it would help. Again, my strategy for this is basically to send Marcus up to get the village with the money, and then I kind of keep stay in the middle, in general. Okay. Uh, but it's up to you. Right. Oh, he's gonna take a beating. Yeah, it's all right. Bart has the HP. For he that. does. Yeah, he totally does. And Sarah's nearby. But also, I will not be. Oh well, he's got the dragon shield, so I kind of would be crying if he did die. <laughs> but darn it. Like, okay, so, so at, actually, this, wait, at this point, javelin. at this point, if somebody has to die on your side, I'd want it to be... Who would be like the... Oh, no! And who would be like... Well, obviously, right El, well, actually, Elwood would probably be the one I'd want to die the most, just because then I, we get to restart anyways. Okay, but forgetting the lords. Forgetting the lords, die. the guy who would die, probably Sarah... If she died, you'd be mad? Or like, I'd be mad. Sarah and Lowen, I'd say. And then if, if Dorcas, or if uh, Bart there's died, Honestly, yeah. there's really no way Oswin's going to die, so... Pretty much not. He's just so slow. You like have to... See, I'm, I think I've puzzled it out. I think I get Dart, who's a, another Axe user, later on in the game. Who's and he's, so good. He's really, really good. Oh, I've got, I've got it. So, Lowen's gonna throw his Javelin. Nice hit, Lowen. Just because he can't see doesn't mean he can't aim. And then Elwood can finish him off. Elwood with the level up! Yeah! That oh, was a terrible level up! That was up. a pretty bad level up. Luck is awful, let's be honest. Yeah. Alright, so I still have Sarah to move. See, I would... I normally would have her heal Bart Ray, but there might be archers coming. <sighs> you don't have to, but he if there's archers coming, he's also not doing well, good. Well, actually, we can see far. Never mind, there are no archers coming this turn. I hear you, Bart Ray, and now it is Link's turn. Awesome. I am ready. Ready and willing. Ready okay. for Freddy. Um, is that a Five Nights at Freddy's thing? That is a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Um, maybe there I'll is a brigand on that uh, fort that you can Yeah, I'm going to equip the killing edge and just leave him there. Okay, I think so you're killing edge. I think he'll be okay. Um. <laughs> Oof. Matthew Oof. is very squishy at, in the early stages of the game. Yeah. Let's see if she can attack twice on any nope. of these punks. Definitely not the Myrmidon. Well, see, my thing is, I don't want to send Dorcas out here because he's guaranteed going to miss. <laughs> well, you could put him on the bridge just to kind of, like... Block movements. Oh yeah, Hector's got hand axes. Might want to use it on the brigand. You at least have a decent shot at hitting. Oswin can make short work of that movement on. Yeah, but he has to get there first. He's gonna get there next turn. 
The thing is, yeah, if Matthew takes the hit... Yeah, I can't... Well, then Dorcas could rescue him. I can't risk... Not if he goes there, he can't. Yeah, he can. oh, I guess he yeah. could. Yeah, but then Dorcas, like, he could get unlucky, but, too. But Matthew's pretty much guaranteed to kill that. Uh, the Myrmidon might two-shot him if he's rescued uh, Matthew. For some reason, thieves have pretty high constitution. Let's see what... Oh, he'd he live, though. If he attacks twice, even? Yeah. Okay. This guy, he only damages seven. Oh, and Dorcas has full HP, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to take that chance. Probably nothing bad will come of it. Probably not. He'll probably dodge. Fingers but... crossed. Yeah, okay. Matthew's pretty good at dodging. He is. I, I, You can kind of rely on him. He's one of those guys who he's really weak at the beginning, but then he gets... Well, he actually never Honestly, gets Honestly, he never gets super strong, but he eventually but he's... just becomes you can't hit him. Yeah, and he, since he's that a thief, a his main up. use is lightening up foggy areas and stealing treasure. Treasure? And opening doors, of course. Um... So I might just leave Matthew out there then, because he's fine if yeah, this guy Yeah, actually, the Myrmidon might go after Hector just because he's got a much higher chance of hitting. That's true. Um, if you really that want guy, to move Dorcas oh, out? Oh, well, that guy's about to die. I bet Rebecca could finish him off. Yeah, she's just out by herself. Well, I'll move Dorcas to kind of protect her. Yeah, and like I said, I don't think the Nomads are coming until the next turn. I am a huge fan of archers in the Fire Emblem games. Um, I think they're kind of <laughs> underrated and underutilized in a lot of them. Um... See, I, I kind of feel the same way. It's just Awakening, Virian, the Archer. Not great. Should I move? Honestly, Marcus is going to survive anything. I know, I'm just, do I want to draw them out or not? I bet there's a guy literally right next to you. Oh, there totally is, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I keep it. That's right. Yeah, then see, now all those punks are going to come over too. That's true. That's why it's dangerous to kind of leave. Guy alone, are you saying? No, just, I don't know. He only has a 63% chance of hitting, that's really low. Well, he's in a forest, and he's in a That's true, but still. Um. Yeah, look at that, 18% chance of hitting? Guy's fine. I wish he did a critical the first time. Guy pretty much only ever does criticals when you don't need him to do I, That's true. I am not a fan of Guy, really. I've gotten him to max level before, and he's still not very good. Uh, okay, oh, good. yeah. That was that's a, a pretty critical. sweet critical It animation. is, I gotta hand it to him. And honestly, with the whole, like, split of the characters, I might end up using Guy this playthrough. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't think you're... Well, you're getting Raven later on in the game. He's the best sword user in the game. He's just probably the best character in the game. Like, he probably is. He's not, a, I mean, not character, but in terms of, like, fighting. Like, he doesn't have stats, a lot of personality, like, but... <laughs> he's like, I'm moody. Pretty much. Uh, there are a lot of video game characters like him. Yeah. 21% Hand axes are very inaccurate. They, they and totally axes are. in general are pretty inaccurate. I, there's no point in Matthew getting them. Though. There's really not. Matthew might want to use another torch. Oh, there's Poozon. This guy has a steel sword, though, yeah. But he's got vulneraries, and Matthew can steal vulneraries. Yeah, I'm going to steal from this dude, though. Alright, Oswin will finish him off for you. I figured. Yeah, Matthew can steal items from enemies. He can't steal weapons, but he can steal items. Unless you use that mind glitch that we're also fond of. Um, See, yeah, okay, for the mind glitch when you control enemies, if you have an enemy trade a okay, weapon... Okay, so I guess I get the money then, right? Yeah, you get the money. But there's also parts of the game where you just get money for the story purposes. Yeah, we'll, we'll split just, that. We'll just split that, yeah. alright. That's yeah. fair. So I've only spent 300 gold. Right, so Link has a lot more money. No, 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 no. I bought, um, oh, you bought hand, axes hand axes as well. and an iron sword. Okay, never mind. I think we've spent a pretty much an even amount of gold. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep them here, I think. You're not moving, Rebecca? Do I use that? Hmm. Rebecca does need strength. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Alright. See, I would normally be... Wait, is... Yeah, that's Dorcas. That's Dorcas. Normally, it'd be all about using that dragon shield. And oh, I don't right. know if I move guy. If I didn't move him, you can just leave him there. You can just leave him yeah. there. All right. Okay. This is where the nomads start coming, and you really want to be on your game. So I'm going to. I'm going to be do kind of a risky move. I'm putting Elwood in the forest. That's not that risky. You just I wouldn't spread out that much. Give him if you I put want him to put there, in the if you put as okay, well. put him put him in the forest and give him a sword because there's brigands coming yeah, up. Yeah, that that's way. true. Lowen also right now he okay. oh, he has good visibility, man. Lowen does not have bad visibility. I mean, he's not a horse. I guess well, that makes sense. Well, I don't really want Sarah to heal Elwood. Darn it. That's okay. Actually, wait a second. No, Oswin's not damaged. Who am I kidding? He can use a javelin. 
I just haven't used Iron Knights, let's be honest. So I know you are not a fan of Knights. Okay, I really the like only, knights. the only, I know you're a big fan. Oswin's fine. I have no problem with him. Oswin's My thing great. is they're just so slow. They, and I play they more. Are. Kind, I play kind of recklessly occasionally. <laughs> it's true. And it's not that you're going to lose the Knights, but they can't. They're not reliable enough to come to people's rescue if you need them to. So, ooh, I'm definitely giving the Dragon Shield to Sarah. Oh, that's a good call. Um, but it's just like I don't know. It's just one of those things where. All right. I'd prefer at the... I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if Oswin can at least lure the boss out a little bit. The only, I think the only knight character I really liked is KGL. in... Kjell? Uh, From Awakening? But, yeah, her in Awakening, she's pretty good. And there's a really good one in um, Fate's Conquest, who's basically fast. <laughs> wow. Even though she's a knight. Um, and she's... She just well, uh, Amelia is a fast knight if you make her one. Uh, but she's just so bad. Like, Whoa, she's a knight with no defense. shot that guy? Wow. That's weird. You're slipping, guy. That or it's a brigand with unusually high okay, speed. Okay, so we gotta be careful with that boss. Uh-oh. Oh, he's fine. I totally forgot about the nomads there. I'm sorry. I thought that was only that's Hector's okay. story. No, that's cool. Guy's fine. That's Hector, why I gave Hector's him the, nearby. That's why I gave him the killing edge. Dorcas, on the other hand, is going to be a pincushion, but, you know, it's cool. That's fine. Dorcas starts with 30 health, which is ridiculous. He has really high HP and really low everything else. Right. Actually, he has high strength, too. Whoa! Rowan attacks twice against the Nomads? Yeah. I, sure. I remember Rowan being the guy who never attacks twice. No, that's, uh, Sane. No, Sane's the guy who always misses. Well, that too. So, yeah, so, like, we've, like, like we said, we've played this game a lot, but, like, every time I, this is one of those games where every time you play it, like, there's something new. Like, mm -hmm. be, just because, like, you're doing different strategies, you're moving guys different places, like, you can, like, have dominated a level in one playthrough, and then the next playthrough that, like, destroys you. Like, I remember there is a level near the end of the game that I'll go more into detail when we get there. Well, I, the first time I played it, I didn't really realize the trick to beating it. Or to beating the boss, and I lost probably six characters. Oh, right. is that Limstella? That's the. I think it's level thirty with Limstella. <laughs> oh yeah. It is ridiculous, but once you know the trick, it's kind of a joke. Yeah, I remember I had uh, the guy who was really good against her. I'm like, Link, why did you have a hard time against that guy? Right. Or girl, she was easy. Hmm. It's one of those where you so basically have to beat her with magic because her defense is so high. That's mm, risky. No, nah, I'm not doing that. <sighs> If you want, if Elwood wants to get in a shot, Rebecca could probably finish the job. That's true. I'm going to put. Actually, well, I mean. I don't care where you put him. Elwood might get in danger. Put it into oven. Hot Shots Golf reference. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hot Shots Golf. So I okay. You should do a let's play of Hot Shots Golf. Uh, I'm not doing a let's time. play of a golf game. <laughs> it's like what if it was Mario Golf Toadster Tour is great and Hot Shots Golf is also awesome. I think at least. Mm -hmm. It's not as good. They're both, Ooh. like, both series are made yeah, by Camelot. I, I know, it's really low yeah, chance, no, but and Axe, so... He, yeah, he uh, will now attack back against Nomads. And he's in a forest, so that'll help. I would not move Sarah up there. <sighs> yeah, that's a bit too risky. But she's in the range of that Nomad anyway. Well, move her a little bit, but... I'm gonna move her over here, since Oswin's on the bridge, no one can get over there. And I think that's all of my units. Yep. Alright. You probably want to attack the Nomad. Damn. Yeah, the Killing Edge is quite more, a bit more powerful than the Iron Sword. I actually might kill this guy. Because I think all the right. Nomad is... I'm the only one in range, so I'm pretty sure the Nomad's still going to go after me. He, Hector might be in range, but you can easily move him. Oh, for sure. Um... Matthew... So you, you do not even like Gilliam from Sacred Stones? No, and um, there's a guy named Brom in the GameCube. Ooh, one. okay, he I've seen sucks. <laughs> I've seen Brom. Okay, he the is GameCube. Bad. I I love Path of Radiance, which is the GameCube Fire Emblem. But my problem with it is there are two. There are actually too many characters. Like you'll be most of the way through the game, and you'll be getting like mages who are like not even upgraded yet. Yeah, like it's. <laughs> oh yeah, the of, red-haired kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's garbage. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. All the characters who... Because I've only really played through that game, like, 100% the one time. I'm sure if you, like, use them regularly and, like, train them... Like, they're good. They're probably, like, the best characters in the game, you know? 
but... I, I remember there was, like, the Qui-Gon guy who could turn into a bird. Oh, yeah. He was cool. And Mordecai. The, the, the Legos characters, I, I'm, that's, a, that's one of, a, like, a newer Fire Emblem thing that I'm not really fat Mondo. into. I like, really... Don't so drop Merlinus. <laughs> I'm really into Manikeets. I love... But they're but they're also just kind of overpowered, like, to a ridiculous Th level. Yeah, and that's why I love them! <laughs> that, that's not going to really do anything. I just want to see if there's any more guys up there. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like you breathed your last. He'll actually yeah, damage yeah, Oswald, right, which is crazy. This, I might be able to get the kill for this guy. Oh, he double shots Oswald. Probably because he has a javelin. Oh, that's true. I love the boss music, too. Yeah, see, I figured he'd go after Guy. Guy is dodging a lot, which is Guy funny. does dodge a lot. The problem is when he doesn't dodge, it's like, oof. Yeah. He has really bad It's always defense. that, it's kind and of resistance. that risk-reward with him, you know? Punishment. Reward. Punishment. Mr. Sir. Black Mr. Okay, Sir. Isn't, isn't Holes just pretty much the best movie of all it's time? It's a really good movie. I like, never get to it. Like, if someone was, like, name your top, like, 25 movies of all time, I... Holes Oh, Holes is absolutely in there, which is weird because like I feel like that's a movie nobody really knows about. Why? Why would I not do that, right? <laughs> why wouldn't you attack Puzan with a hand axe? Whoa! I'm impressed, Hector. Yep. Hector might be the best axe unit in the game. Him or Dart. Yeah, uh, Hector, I know he's probably the Lord with the biggest weaknesses. He's my favorite Lord. Oh, hands down. Hand axe. I try to draw down. them out with Mark. Okay, if they have an opportunity between Marcus and Oswin, they're probably going to pick Oswin. Although Marcus does have a rescue unit, so that's part of it. Alright, Rebecca. Matthew really has no business being over there. I'm going to put him here just in case there's somebody closer to Sarah than I know. Can you heal her? Or heal him? I will heal who I deem fit. Oh, that's true. he has 13 HP. You can't really I get mean, to Oswin, though. Actually... The battle might Which end may if or you may not the have boss. been my intention. Yeah. Sarah's not too picky about who she heals and okay. gives her experience regardless. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't remember if the battle ends after you beat the boss. Ah. Uh, it might. I don't know. We'll find out. That is risky. I guess Oswald will probably kill the boss, but if he doesn't. Oswald will definitely kill the boss. Okay. Good job, Lowen. Man, yeah, okay, I if, Lo of if Oswin hadn't killed the boss, which he had like a 25% chance of missing, basically, well, and that's, Oswin that's missed both of I know, But if he missed both of those two, oof. Look at that. Yeah. He's totally okay. gonna kill him. Stupid poos on. Unbelievable. You good looking bandit. <laughs> and Oswin gets a good amount of experience. See, you know, he's like a level 9, I think. Oh, man. Look at that defense, baby! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty Oswin awesome. gets pretty good level ups. Okay, nope. Battle's still around. I yeah, think I can't see. see all the units. It, it ends, maybe. You can put Elowood up there with Lowen. Draw him out. Or mm, put him on I'm, the bridge. I'm debating doing village. that, or... Uh, put, him, put, him over, him. put him to the right. Put him to the right? What about Bartway? Okay, you can put... Well, put him Put him on that bridge. Put Elowood, like, down south a little bit. Towards Sarah? No, well, I was gonna say, like, right there, kinda in between Bart and the bridge. Nope. Down to the bottom right. Like, di like south. Oh, there. Southeast. No. South like, yeah. Oh, the Bart, not Dorcas. Yeah. Uh. You don't have to. I I, if I'm doing anything, I'm either moving him towards Sarah or healing him up here. I think Sarah's fine. Well, Elwood needs healing. Oh, gotcha. He's like, screw this, I'm out of here. Man, Lowen! Lowen is like Lowen, a Lowen, the knight who can't miss. Doofus, Elwood has a rapier. Okay, <laughs> so I would say this is probably my favorite Game Boy Advance game of all time. I know that's kind of a, a tall order, because there's some amazing Game Boy Advance well, games. Well, it depends. Are you counting, like, the pretty much all of them that are remakes of Super NES games as mm. their own? Mm, I'm counting those as Game Boy Advance games. Because we played that, but we didn't have a Super Nintendo growing up. That's true. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, so, okay, so let's... We're, we're about to beat this level. I, we're kind of coasting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what are your top five Game Boy Advance games? Okay, I'd say this, 
Like, okay, are, are, are we going to rank, like, 5, 4, no, 3, I'm just, This is just, three, okay, five. It is so, order. this, which Keep is playing. Fire Emblem, um, Warrior Wear Twisted, probably. Oh, Twisted, Twisted is so is good. good. Donkey Kong Country 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe Donkey Kong Country 1, and then probably Super Mario World. So, as people who have watched your channel know, you are obsessed with Donkey Kong. I love Donkey Kong! <laughs> this kid <laughs> has beaten Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Advance, I what, like eight times? Oh, at least. I, that was my favorite as a kid. He played it Actually, no, Osborne doesn't need that. Um, uh, let me see. So, okay, so... Uh -huh. Wait, is that... Was that four or five? That was all five. So you said Fire Emblem, Fire Mario Emblem, World... Mario World, Donkey Kong Country 2, Donkey Kong Country 1, and then Mario World, I'd say. Oh, Mario Unless World. Unless I'm forgetting a big one. No, that's... I mean, those are, those are Ooh, good lists. Also high up on the list, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Oh, good game. Good game. Fire Emblem's better, though, <laughs> so I would pick that. Um, okay, so mine, Fire Emblem is the top. I'm also going to put Twisted on there, because it is just amazing. <laughs> it's that game, so fun. That game is also... Inst like, uh, it's infinitely replayable. The... My literally my only criticism with Twisted, you can't play it on the Game Boy Player. Well, right, because you destroy your GameCube by tilting it. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much impossible to do a Let's Play of, which is too bad because that is such a good game. Um, uh, you know what? I want Rebecca to finish that guy off. Oh, okay. Plus, one does not need the experience. Good thing you gave her the energy ring. Right? Yeah. No kidding. Do you want me to move the rest of my units, or do you? Well, want that's to move the last. Or no, it's not. It's not. Uh, you can have. I got this. Matthew should move over and use a torch. Yeah, I got this. Um, okay, so Warrior Wear, Twisted, infinitely replayable, definitely on the list. He can't reach there. Oh, shoot. Well, Bart Ray's waiting for him. That's true. Let's We'll cut him off. Okay. Marcus. See, this is like working together at the finest. Um... Is Hector going? Is Hector really going to go anywhere? Just in case somebody pops okay. up out of nowhere and tries well, to say. Well, Oswin has taken a beatings. Um, okay, so what did I said I said Fire Emblem and Twisted. Fire Emblem and Twisted, yeah. Uh, also on your list, both good. Uh, ooh, man. Okay, I'm trying to think. Okay, so I'm going to put Golden Sun just because that was like I know, <laughs> right, I, right, I know right. a lot yeah, of people. I'm I know you don't like that game, and I know a lot of people who've played a lot of RPGs are like, eh, it's not that great. But it was kind of like one of my first RPGs, and it's honestly a lot of fun. It pushes the Game Boy Advance to its limit. Like, it's actually, graphically, that know. game is really, really good on Game Boy Advance. I will give it that. Very um, nice graphics. It does have very nice graphics. Oh, really, man, guy? Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, that was close. Um, I'm also going to put Mario World, because that's my favorite 2D Mario game of all time. Oh, definitely. Oh, man. I Ooh, get, nice level. I guy. only get one more, though. What am I going to pick? Oh, uh, really? We have to... Well, actually, not Oh, yet. oh. Um, I have to go... Oh, shoot. I'm going to go Link to the Past. I, I like the Super also, NES version better. I also love Minish Cap. See, Minish Cap is an underrated Minish Zelda Cap. game. Like, it, it was really cool in this, like, uh, like, theory, I'll say, but I didn't really like any of the dungeons. Oh, see, I thought they were great. That was... And, and I, got, I got stuck on the Frost Droplet Temple. I also got stuck on the Sky Temple. So I am a huge believer that a lot of the best games for, like, a generation come out right when that generation is coming to a close. So, for example, like, when the GameCube was, like, near the end of its life, you got, like, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Chibi oh, Robo. Oh, yeah. Um, like, Two really underrated games. Bait and Cater's Origins. You got some, um, even Fire Emblem was pretty late. Paper Mario 2 was pretty late. Yes. Those games, and those games are all so good. Oh, some yeah. of the best games I, on the I will system. say, one of... The best games, in my opinion, for just picking up and playing and having fun with is Jungle Beat. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat is great. Like, you play on the drums, which seems like a gimmick, it but it's It sounds is, really stupid, so but it is fun. so much fun. And you um, have to play with the bongos. Don't oh, really you try absolutely playing have with the to. controller. They did re release it for the Wii with um, updated controls that don't need the bongos, because I don't think the bongos worked with the Wii. I haven't played that. That's mm -hmm. also, I mean, it's a fun game, so I could see that working too, but honestly, the bongos. No, it's make all it. about the bongos and pounding them and just watching DK, like, beat up everything it, in his it, it, It's a fun game. But, like, so Game Boy Advance, you had, like, Minish Cap, um, you had all the remakes of Final Fantasy, like, 4, 5, and 6, which were awesome. Yep. Um, you have uh, Sacred Stones. There's a lot of really, really good uh, Game Boy Advance games that came out late in life. And there, Game Boy Advance is honestly one of my favorite systems. There are yes. so many good games. If you take into account the remakes, just, oh my it, gosh, so many good mm -hmm. games. 
Yeah, and a lot of people are like, well, Game Boy Advance isn't that great. Pretty much it's all like right, Super, Super NES, NES games. And that's true, but it's hard to come by Super NES's nowadays. Yeah. Uh, do you want to keep doing just one giant video? Yeah, might as well. All right.